while 2021 faced its fair share of ups and downs, we know one thing to be true. The real estate market not only met expectations, it surpassed them breaking all sorts of records along the way. With that in mind, there's one big question right now. Will the 2022 housing market continue to follow the same trajectory or are we facing a possible downturn? Stay tuned for my 2022 housing predictions. Let's go. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Well, as we end 2021, there are a lot of clients asking questions about what to expect in 2022 whether it's home prices, mortgage rates, or inventory. So let's get right into it. One of the biggest drivers for 2021's booming real estate market was record low mortgage rates. Because of this, affordability reached one of the highest levels in the past 30 years. And so naturally, eager buyers followed. The good news is we are predicting that mortgage rates will remain low for the foreseeable future. While home prices continue to appreciate across the country, more on that later, the continued low mortgage rates means homes are still affordable to purchase, but still slightly less than it was 12 months ago. Now there's no doubting it, the last two years have been some of the craziest years in the history of real estate. And coming into 2022, we are noticing home sales slightly slowing, but that doesn't mean the market is slow. It's just returning to a more balanced one than we have seen in the recent years. And that brings up a constant battle that we have this year between high buyer demand and low inventory, which led to a surge in home values that left everyone scared, thinking we were headed for another housing bubble. Now, there's no hiding the fact that this year's home price escalation was a bit excessive. However, it was also just the result of simple economics. High buyer demand coupled with extremely low supply. We anticipate inventory in 2022 to start growing and so price appreciation will slow down a bit. This brings me to my next point, which is for closures. Everyone's asking, well, they will happen, but that won't lead to price declines. The massive wave of unemployment that came along with the pandemic led many homeowners across the country to enter mortgage forbearance. While unemployment is slowly but surely declining, it will be a while before we reach the pre-COVID levels. And because of this, foreclosures are expected to rise. However, I don't anticipate this will lead to anything resembling the foreclosure crisis we saw in 2008. I also don't expect it to lead to the major home value depreciation that followed. But what does this all mean for buyers and sellers in 2022? Well, there's still a lot of motivation for buyers and sellers in the market, and that's not expected to change in the near future. With both inventory and mortgage rates remaining low, both sides of the real estate transaction stand to benefit from making a move. And while real estate may be slowing slightly, it's still extremely strong. As an example, last week I had buyers submitting an offer on a $539,000 property. We came in at 585, uh, removing contingencies. And of course we got beat out by a $620,000 all cash, no contingencies offer. So that goes to prove us that the real estate market is still going strong even in December. Having said that, waiting until next year could mean homes appreciate but like I said, at a slower pace. It is projected a more modest appreciation of 5.8% in the next 12 months, compared to the 11.7% rise we saw in 2021. It is important to remember that 2021 market was anything but normal. It was a lot of pent up demand from 2020 and escalating home values were a direct result of record low inventory. Like I said earlier, inventory has been without a doubt the biggest player in this hot seller's market. With buyer fatigue running high, I'm being asked, will housing inventory increase in 2022? Well, there are four factors that I think will bring more homes to market in 2022. Number one, homeowners are more confident putting their homes on the market as COVID numbers continue to drop and more and more people become vaccinated. Number two, many of the obstacles halting or slowing new construction start to fade and those homes come on the market, adding new inventory and meeting the needs of population growth. Number three, as forbearance comes to a close, it's predicted a wave of new homes coming to the market. However, we don't anticipate the majority of these homes to be foreclosed. Instead, because of built up equity, homeowners in this position will have the opportunity to sell instead of foreclose. And number four, homeowners are seeing a slowing down of appreciation, which makes them believe that their properties will not appreciate much more. And so they will plan to take advantage of the hot sellers market. 
While inventory may take a bit of the edge off of today's competitive market, it's important to remind yourself that it doesn't mean prices will fall or homes will become more affordable. There will just be more available properties to choose from. But as I've mentioned before, don't let the market dictate you buying or selling. Your financial situation should always dictate when to buy or sell. If this video has added any value to you, please hit the like and subscribe button. And remember, I am your source for real estate in San Diego and surrounding areas. So if you're looking to purchase a new home, avoid feeling overwhelmed and use my experience and knowledge to find the home of your dreams. And if you're thinking about selling, well, exposure is everything. Leverage my experience and marketing tools to turn selling into sold. Thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone has a great holiday and best wishes for the new year. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.